Okay, this video is gonna be all about the reach, pull, and turn move. You saw this move in um, Mrs. Jamie or Mrs. Ramsey, whatever, whoever, whichever you call her, um, in her uh, I'm still standing routine that we did. Um, but she did it pretty fast, so I'm gonna, I'll show you, um, it'll probably be a little slower than she did, because it was her move that she actually made up. Um, so I'll probably end up doing it a little slower, and then I'll break it down to, into parts so you guys can see it. It's definitely one of those that it's super easy, but when you do it fast, it looks like an optical illusion, and it looks really cool. Okay, so here we go. This is the reach, pull, and turn move. That's that. So without the flag, you're gonna lunge with your left this way. You're gonna bring back up, and then you're just gonna stand here. Flag's gonna go around you. Arm's gonna be out here because it goes into a cradle. You're just gonna unwind and bring your arm in front. So flag is gonna be vertical. Your hand is gonna be at the tab, thumb up. You're gonna lunge with your left straight out and then you're going to pull back in and then you're going to go around your body with the flag and when you get here this is the 90 degree angle that when you guys were learning the cradle we showed you 90 degree angle there and then you're just gonna just like a normal cradle you're just gonna unwind and bring in front and yes it this should be backwards so the silk should be on your left when you do this move so reach, pull around into cradle, unwind, and bring it front. That's what that is. So it should be counted, going at slow, it would be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Technically it should be an eight count, but again, if we're doing it as fast as Mrs. Jamie was, then I don't even know what her counts were. <laughs> Um, it's going to be quicker, quicker count. So you might have 16 counts instead of eight. So, uh, one should be reach, two should be pull, three, four, five should be around, six, seven is unwind, and then eight is in front. So, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So, reach, pull around the body, cradle, unwind, and silk in front. So probably normal speed if I were to go a little faster. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Nope, it's still, okay, it's still an eight count. Yeah, so it should still be an eight count. Um, but so let's go over checkpoints here like usual. Sorry if the silk gets in my face, it's a little windy out here. So checkpoint one is when you're in this lunge and the flag is to your left. You're like this. I put my hand behind my back sometimes just to keep out of the way. You don't have to. So checkpoint one is this. You're lunged out, your flag is vertical and your right hand to your left. And then checkpoint two is your back in a vertical in a tension, which is what this is called. And then you, you're pulling your flag back still vertical but back in front of you so you're here for checkpoint one checkpoint two one two so then after that checkpoint three is going to be it's kind of difficult to show so checkpoint three hold this so checkpoint three is either going to be it's either going to be here so let me get closer so maybe you can see it. Like right at your shoulder here or right behind you. It's depending on how fast you're gonna go. It's gonna be in one of those two places. But it's hard because it's the part where you go around. So one, two, three. I'm, I'm behind my shoulder on three. Four, five, on cradle, like that. So checkpoint one, checkpoint two, checkpoint three check yeah three checkpoint four should be like uh right behind you at your spine um checkpoint five you're gonna be 
like this, and then six, seven, and back in front. So checkpoint one, checkpoint two, checkpoint three, checkpoint four, checkpoint five, checkpoint six, checkpoint seven. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So, or you could, you could throw in another checkpoint if you're having trouble with that last. So technically you could one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So technically you could do eight checkpoints, but I only put and seven because you guys are doing pretty good with this unwind cradle and it's the same thing that that you learned with when we did the cradle and one in class or for those who aren't in class with me in a previous video um so yeah so um let's do the checkpoints two more times and then um we'll go over it again and we can do it together. So I'll do it slow the first time again and then I'll do the checkpoints to normal speed. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So I can do it with the eight checkpoints too. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So now you guys can like mess around for a little bit. If you have a flag, uh, you can pause the video here and just practice that for a minute before we go normal speed. So here's normal speed. Five, six, seven, eight, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So again, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So slow that down a little bit. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Checkpoint one, checkpoint two, checkpoint three, checkpoint four, checkpoint five, checkpoint six, checkpoint seven, checkpoint eight. Uh, What's really cool about this move is not only does it go a little fast and looks kind of like an optical illusion, you end on this side so you can do some moves that you rarely get to do because most of the time the flag silk ends on your right. And so this one you can do the normal move that we've gone over in class, that backwards toss there. We did that in the This Is Me show and two of you guys did uh, that move in the Christmas show at uh, the church in Kokomo. So you could do that. Um, and there's, like, even if you want to do something, you can bring it up and back down if you want. You can pretty much do anything. There's, you can just flick if you want. But there's, there's a bunch of stuff you can add in after that. So, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So, yeah, there's that. So, um, if there's any other moves that you want to learn, uh, you can, um, like if you're one of my girls, you can uh, video yourself doing it or trying to do it and uh, send it to me over text or in our group chat. Um, if you're not, I'm not sure if you can do this, but if you can, you can post a video of yourself doing it in the comments if you're allowed, if you're able to post videos in comments. Um, <clears throat> if not, I don't know how else you'd get a hold of me, but if you find a different way, that's cool too. 
So, um, but yeah, that is the reach, pull, and around move. So you guys can have fun with that. <laughs>